What is up guys? Jake here with our next live attack video and I want to bring this one to you because um, I got a new ancient today that I've been playing with and I think it's pretty nice. Um, it's Tokimi or Tokamas and I'll tell you what it is. Uh, it's the one you get where uh, you get the daily rewards at the end of 28 or 30 days whatever it is you get the ancient and it's an epic ancient and it is a very nice one. We'll look at it here uh, right there Tokimi. And some very, very good abilities. Uh, the first one is right here, uh, Time Flux. It's sort of an area of effect. It's a pretty good size area. And it says, creates a flux in time that slows enemies by 50% and speeds allies by 50%. And since I leveled her up for almost 9 seconds, that's huge. I mean, for the first ability, that's crazy. Uh, the second one's actually pretty cool as well. Uh, Space Rift rewinds time, uh, returning units to the position and health values they had five seconds ago. In addition, units take 50% reduced damage for almost three seconds. That's pretty big. If your tanks get in there, uh, they're taking a lot of fire at the start of it, and you get a few of those troop portals taken out, you can drop that. Uh, it is going to back them up, but it's also going to basically uh, heal them up and, and give them a shield for a few seconds. So it's very uh, good ability. The last one actually is my least favorite of hers, which is one thing I like about this Ancient. Uh, most of her power, in my opinion, comes early on in her abilities. Uh, this one affects 1% uh, health uh, second and takes a 35 bonus damage. It's nice if you get in there in a big wad of uh, in a big fight and can cast it on your you know on a, on a group of things because they go down very quickly if you've got a lot of dps on them uh but again not not my favorite ability of hers uh i've saved the last three attacks to do in this war uh not they're pretty weak bases actually but i just wanted to sort of showcase this new attack that i'm using and the composition that i'm bringing with it uh, i'm bringing a mauler these days a paladin a uh soldiers and a set of wardens and just bringing that as you right here this ability now it's affecting all those um affecting those two defenses and those troops that are in that little range there and you can just sort of keep it going on them uh keeps them moving very quickly and then here in a moment we'll use the second one just to show you what's going on you watch these maulers right here we'll zoom in uh, when they start taking a lot of damage uh, right there, one's almost dead. You just do it. It backs them up, and look at that. heals everything up there. So pretty cool ability there. And then again, this one you can drop on a pretty big area, that top ability there. And what it basically does is make those buildings go down very quickly when you've got a little DPS on them. So we'll fast forward through this, uh, go to the last couple of attacks, and hopefully they'll be a little tougher. We can showcase this, because I've had some pretty good success with this uh, composition. Uh, I, I've got to read some of the comments and let me know what get, what you guys have been using lately. Hadn't got to that yet. Again, been very busy with the, the tough war that we had. Really, you know, spending a lot of time on attacks and stuff on that one and doing videos for it. So hopefully I'll have a little more time to catch up on some videos here. And I will uh, try to have a couple ready for because I'm trying to go out of town this weekend. So I'll have maybe one or two ready for you guys uh, pre-uploaded for this weekend so y'all can have something to enjoy. Uh, just grab a few buildings here we'll send our dragon over here and then right here we'll just head straight in uh, pretty much boom right there we'll go ahead and slow that down speed those up and that will be nice right there boom everything going down again we'll, we'll try to do the second ability here watch this see if we can get some troops that we know are about to go down they're getting low health our paladins are doing a pretty good job of keeping everything up right now but let's see yeah, whatever. We're beating this one too bad to really showcase it. And we'll just drop that there. All right, hopefully this king's a little bit tougher. I think he's one higher stronghold maybe at least. Uh, you know that it's this game, it needs a little tweaking in my opinion, or maybe it just needs a little time for more uh, kingdoms to get up there. When we get to the Axe League, it's like ridiculous outmatched, you know, Strong, we're going up against strongholds 12, 13, and we're strongholds 7s and 8s and 6s and things like that. Uh, but down here in Sword League, we're just waxing everybody. So it's sort of, uh, there's no middle ground right now. Uh, let's see, this might be a good base to do this on. Let's see if we can grab that right there. And he's going to go down. Come on. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have went for it. That's all right. Uh, we'll just send everything in, see if we can't just wreck this base sort of old school style. No dragon, no anything, just coming in. Uh, as soon as we get that first ability, we'll use it right there because uh, that's going to speed them through. They'll get that second ability. I'm going to go ahead and drop the uh, the heal spell on them because it's pretty cool. The 
the rewind, whatever you want to call it, right here. They should get it in just a moment. Come on, give me another one. We'll do it right there. You see it heals them up, backs them up a little bit, but now they've got a little bit of a shield as well. Uh, so hopefully that'll take a little bit better beating. Once that troop core goes down, I will try to speed them up again. Right there, we'll give them a little juice. Hopefully get in here and take, I think I'm gonna lose this one actually. Sacrificing my uh, dragon like that was not not good. But we'll do it one more time, no big deal. As soon as I saw he was in range, I should have moved him on, but I thought I'd try to be greedy and grab that real quick. So all right, we'll get to do one more attack. All right, let's actually look at this base and see what the best way to probably come in is. His charger is not even charged, so I don't think that's like a bad way to come in. Hmm. Yeah, let's just try. What do we got? What can we boost here? Hey, well, let's just throw in some mana hunters just to give a little extra. A little extra damage or a mana coming towards us here. Dang it, I just I hate when I do that when I'm deploying my troops. I sometimes use grab that dragon and accidentally use its ability. Not what I wanted to do. All right. Got everything moving in here. Let's see what starts going down now. Got a lot bigger push going towards what we want here. Slow all that down. Speed up my troops. Let's heal those tanks back up a little bit. Shield them. Get that going up there. All right. It's just looking a lot better. Speed those up. There we go. I think we got it this time. If nothing else, that dragon will grab it. Yep, there we go. All right, that's all that matters. We'll fast forward through the end of it here. Uh, but anyways, that's the that's the composition I've been using, having some pretty good success with it. Uh, not a great attack there. Wasn't really paying much attention trying to talk and, and do the attacks all at the same time. But uh, try it out, guys. See if you guys like it once you get it. Uh, again, I think most people are, have been playing for close to as long as I have, so you're probably getting close to unlocking it if you've been logging on every day. So I uh, hope you liked the video. Until next time, Jake reminding you guys to suck less.